Yeah, yeah, I know. I missed the World Series bracket. My bad. I missed the playoff bracket. Because, honestly, I never had enough time to finish a bracket. And if I did have it up, it would have been around the ALDS and NLDS, respectively. And it just wouldn't be the same or as good. So I decided, you know what, to scrap it and that I would just wait till the World Series to do my to do a video. But anyway, another MLB playoffs have come and gone pretty quickly. All I can say is wow. I mean, there are a lot of collapses, but I honestly think these playoffs have been a lot better than last year's, respectively. We even had a number of upsets. But in the end, through all of that, we have two teams left standing. Two teams to battle it out for the World Series crown to decide who will be the champions of baseball. So you know what, how about enough talk? Let's go ahead and let's jump into our two contestants in the arena of death. Who do we got hailing from the AL? So, Houston, you're back in the big dance again for the second time in three years. Well, I'll say this about the Houston though this year. The road hasn't been easy. They were taken to their limits against the Tampa Bay Rays. Against the little engine that could. In the end, Houston did what they had to do and shut that little engine down and slammed the door right in their face. And then in the ALCS, they completely demolished the Yankees. Destroying whatever hopes and dreams the Yankees had of winning a 28th World Series. And Houston, regardless of what you do in the World Series, you made a massive accomplishment with your series win against the Yankees. As you guaranteed the Yankees will not make a World Series in this entire decade. Houston, you are automatically goddamn American heroes. You prevented the fucking Yankees from making the World Series. I salute you. But there's one thing that comes to mind when you look at the Houston Astros. This is not your normal baseball team. This team is a machine, and not just any machine. A well-oiled machine that will win and win often. Like, every sign here on Houston points to it all. It's World Series. Like, they made a lot of all-in moves to get the World Series this year. Two years ago was only a taste for your fans of what success is. Now, you want more of it. And honestly, Houston shows what happens when you have to tank and rebuild for a number of years. And how long rebuilds can be in baseball. Because Houston's rebuild took forever. And for all the fans that are dead against tanking, look at Houston. They tanked for a number of years. And this is the reward of it. As much as people say t they don't want to tank... And baseball tanking's the only way you truly get better. Stock up on as many top round draft picks as possible. Get as many prospects in the pipeline. Houston has done it all. They are not only trying to change the game. They are trying to revolutionize and stay competitive and prevent full rebuilds. But from Houston's 2017 to now, 2017 team from now, most of the pieces from the World Series team two years ago are still here. Names like George Springer, Carlos Correa, Jose Alduba, and Alex Bagman. They also, yeah, they also got out of depth like Alex Bagman, Michael Brantley, Jordan Alvarez. Their pitching core needs no introduction. It's led by aces Justin Furlander, Derek Cole, and Zach Rayner. And their bullpen is led by Roberto Asuna. Yes, he may have been a fucking idiot for being a woman. But he has quickly rebounded and went back to the form he was in when he was back in Toronto. Houston is a dominant machine. This team is good everywhere. They got depth everywhere. One of the best teams in baseball throughout the season this year. But can they get it done one more time? And get their second World Series title in three years? All signs point to it, but there is one team standing in their way. Because hailing from the National League. Congratulations, Washington. You finally made it past the second round. 
In fact, you one-upped yourselves again. As you made it past the third round and made it to your first World Series title. All I can say is, thank fucking God you finally did it. It took you long enough. But as you see here, the Nationals are now trying to shed their demons and shed their own legacy of failure. Kind of like what their cousins did the Capitals a few years ago when the Capitals ended their failure and won a Stanley Cup. Washington, let's look back on this. In the offseason, the Nationals were left for dead. When Bryce Harper stabbed them in the back after the Nationals wasted his career for a number of years, Harper stabbed them in the back to go get a massive payday with a division rival in the Phillies. And in May, all signs point to the Nationals being left for dead when they were 19 and 31. The everything on the team was a complete disaster. Hell, there were even talks about the Nationals at that point blowing it up and going through a long ass rebuild in baseball. And we all know how re how long rebuilds can take in baseball. But after that, the Nationals finally lit a fuse under their ass and played some very competent baseball to a wild card. The Astro the Nationals took no prisoners in this run. Failures at big time games? Nope, time to kill that meme. Choking in the second round? Nope, you bet your sweet ass that's gone. Falling short the top teams like the Dodgers and the Cardinals? Nope, it's those two teams falling short to the, to the Nationals. Hell, the Nationals made sure to even add the Clayton Kershaw's October legacy and his choking regimen. And they completely destroyed whatever hopes the Cardinals had left and threw their pixie dust into water. You look at the Nationals. Their main strength, their main identity, is the pitching core. Led by Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Patrick Corbin, and Annabella Sanchez. Their bullpen has names like Sean Doolittle, Daniel, and Daniel Hudson. This is their main core. That's helped be a massive part of their success. They're hitting. No introduction. It's been inconsistent at times, but there's been some good signs. Some good pieces like Anthony Random, Juan Soto, Trey Turner, Ryan Zimmerman, Victor Sabri, Howie Kendrick, Adam Eden, Astrobo, Astroba Cabrera, Toredo Pong, and Josh Hader. The Nationals have dealt through a lot of adversity, being one of the worst teams in baseball in May, almost on par with the fucking Detroit Tigers. But the Nationals battled through it. They fought through all of it. Shut up, phone. And the Nationals are here. Nationals, yeah, this we've seen a lot of teams fall short in their first appearance. All I say as Nationals is this. Don't waste this opportunity. Capitalize on it because you never know when you'll have another shot at this ever again. So make this one count. So this is looking like a pretty interesting World Series. A powerhouse team built for winning against, the, uh, against an underdog team that was left for dead. So, Nationals, Astros, who wins? <laughs> I mean, if we look at this, I wouldn't be too pissed if Washington wins and they end their legacy of failure. I wouldn't feel too bad about losing another punching bag in the MLB. I mean, I could still always rip on the Minnesota Twins for their failures and other teams like the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners for their legacies of failure. We can always use those three teams as punching bags still. But I feel like Houston needs to get it done. And I know the betting odds has Houston as heavy favorites, as Houston as the Astros enters the heaviest favorite in the World Series since the 2007 Detroit Tigers. Keep in mind, the 07 Tigers were heavy favorites against the Cardinals, and what happened? The Tigers got completely embarrassed in five games. So I want to underestimate the Nationals by any stretch of the imagination. I think this series is going to be a lot closer than people think. You know, I've been back and forth on this. I was thinking Houston, but you know what? 
We've seen the sports world, the popular trend is that legacies of failure are getting demolished and crushed. Like we had the Nash, we had the Capitals a couple years ago, we had the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. Hell, we had the St. Louis Blues win the Cup in 8 in June. And what else happened? Oh yeah, Toronto Raptors finally won an NBA title. Like a lot of these legacies of failures are flying like fl are falling like flies. So, who's my pick? Fuck it, fuck it. I'm going for broke. I'm gonna take the Nationals. I'm taking the Nationals to end their legacy of failure in seven games. Fuck it. I'm going all in. Give me Washington, baby. So yeah. Honestly, I think this is going to be a very competitive and fun series. Can't wait to watch. So yeah, to all the Astro and National fans, good luck in the World Series. May the best team win. But yeah, that's all I got to say, folks. Hope everyone's a great day, and yeah, peace out.